This is an overview of the steps you need to follow to solve a course to steer with leeway problem. The first step is find the start. We find the starting point, where we're leaving from. We start here. Then we need to find the ending point. Where are we going? We'll connect those two with a line. And then the problem will give us a current. It'll say that the current, which has two components, set and drift, the current is, they'll give you a set of some degrees true. They'll say it's some amount of degrees true at, they'll give us a certain amount of knots, right? And a knot, remember, is equal to nautical miles per hour. So they'll give you a starting point an ending point. They'll give you a current that acts on you while you travel that. So what we need to do is plot the current. And we go to the compass rows. And it's important to remember where we're going. If they say the current is 330, it's going to be up here. So the current's going to go in this direction. So when we plot it from the starting point, we may have to make sure to go the right direction. It's a very common mistake to make to go from, to, to go the opposite, to take a reciprocal of that current. So you, you line it up, let's say it's 330, right? So you line up 330, walk it up to the start, and you mark the current out at 330, right? The current the set of the current is toward 330. And then they're going to give it a drift in nautical miles per hour. So in one hour, the current would push you. A lot of times they use 1.2 around there. So you go to your latitude scale, right? This represents the latitude scale. Get your dividers. You get the, the, amount, of cur the amount of drift they're giving you. A lot of times it's 1.2 knots, but whatever it is, you get that on your dividers. Then you put it from the starting point up that line. So now you have, now you've plotted the set, which is the true direction of the current, and the drift, which is how far you'll drift in one hour. Another thing given in the problem is boat speed. Boat speed. They'll give you your boat speed. They'll say it's, you know, they'll say somewhere between 6.7 and 11. Let's say it's, they give it in knots anyways. So it'll be in nautical miles per hour, which is interesting. It's the same as the current. So it's kind of a one-to-one -one ratio here. And we can take our boat speed. Let's say it's something six, seven or so. You get your boat speed on your dividers. And then you plot that from where you just got the current to the course you're trying to follow. Right? And you don't... You don't need to mark this line, but you can. So you you know that you're going this way, which tells us which side of the compass to read. We'll read this side of the compass. So you bump your parallel rules up to that. And now you walk your parallel rules down to the compass rows and say, all right, this is the course I need to steer. And what they're saying is the course to steer, there's a current acting on you, and it's acting at this set and this drift. So this direction and this speed. So now we gave our boat speed a direction. And it's saying that as we go down this line, we need to hold this course to counteract a current that's constantly pushing us. It's like swimming across the river. If we were to just hold this course, we'd end up going like this and we'd miss our destination because the current's acting on us at, at this direction, this set, and at a certain velocity or speed. So instead of getting pushed off course, we account for the current and we crab down this line like this. Imagine swimming across kind of a slow flowing river. You see a spot at the other side you wanna go, but you have to swim into that current and that's the same thing we're doing here. Just going down a line like this. Now, one last step. This is where the leeway comes in. They'll say, if our 
if our chorus is serious here. They'll say a southerly wind, meaning a wind coming out of the south. I find it's very, it draws a good picture if you put your pencil on there or you take your dividers and you put them and pretend they're the wind. You need to correct into the wind. So you'll take this number of degrees true and they'll say, a southerly wind causes three degrees of leeway, or a northerly wind causes two degrees of leeway, something like that, and you just correct into the wind that amount of degrees. So if this is your course and it's coming out of the south, you'll add it. If they say a northerly wind causes some degrees of leeway, you'll correct into a northerly wind and you'll end up subtracting it. And that is the theory behind these course to steer with leeway problems. So find your start, Find your end, plot the set, plot the drift, put your boat speed on there, walk it down, get degrees true, account for current. These turn out to be some of the faster problems we do in chart navigation.